Hey guys, what's up? November is already over. I know everyone says that, but man, time flies. So first off, I just want to apologize for this very unromantic setting. Uh, this is the best that I can do. And even for the audio, uh, I'm having a lot of trouble finding a quiet place. And I hope it will be not too painful to listen to. Okay, so I want to start off with my first favorite, and that is you guys. I cannot thank you enough. I recently hit 1,000 subscribers. Even I think right now it's like 1,100 or something. So I didn't really take a moment to thank you for your support and your love. Uh, I know it's just a number, but to me it's not about how many of you there are. It's more like I can't believe that this community has been built around uh, our common interests. So I thought that to kind of celebrate this achievement, I will do a Q&A. I want to get to know you guys as well. Leave me a question in the comments and I would like you to say something about yourself, anything. I would really like to get to know this family more, right? So this is like a new community that we're all part of and um, I'm not the only one in it, right? So I want to start with this Copal insect. And first off, I mean, it has a very distinct scent and it's intended to represent the, the evanescence of earthly life. Also, uh, in the Nahuatl language, Copal actually means incense. So one celebration that many of you probably know of is Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. And one thing that I saw that was very common is to burn copal incense. Traditionally, it attracts the spirits of their loved ones and um, wards off any evil and also cleanses the air around the altar. Okay, so my second favorite is a Netflix series. It's so weird because I'm not really a TV show kind of person, like the only show that I watch is Friends over and over again. And one that I watched is Atypical. And Atypical was a recommendation from Professional Wild Child's uh, channel. Honestly, the description of it doesn't sound appealing, but the actual show is pretty cool. So it's this guy, Sam, he's autistic. Sam decides that he wants a girlfriend. He wants to be in a relationship. And once he decides that, um, you kind of see what happens uh, to him, but not only him, how his family, his, his little sister, um, and his parents, how they are also affected. It's funny, I think it's well made. Just watch it, you'll see like I finished the whole uh, season in in a weekend, in like two or three days. So I'm not proud of that, but I think that goes to show that it's a good show. Okay, next is a little skincare combo from Living Libations. Now, Living Libations, it's a Canadian company that makes super luxurious natural products and this is the combo that I really have been enjoying. The first one is this Rose Glow Complexion Mist and I just needed a rose water but this one is like taken to the next level. There is 100% rose hydrosol infused with rose auto, carrot seed immortal which is a helichrysum, very good for scars, and uh, lavender and sandalwood. So if you didn't know, sandalwood is one of the most anti-inflammatory things that you can find on earth. And next, I use this chocolate carrot serum. Man, this stuff, this stuff is so delicious, okay? First off, it's a golden jojoba oil base, and it has uh, cacao, carrot seed, rose auto, immortal, and ormus gold. So. Some people take Ormus Gold as a uh, supplement to kind of like enlighten and awaken their spiritual senses. I read about that, um, but of course, I mean, it's so good for your skin, it makes it glow. Uh, with the cacao, which I'm sure many of you know is super uh, antioxidant. I'm sure you feel like this is just a trendy word, like antioxidant. Antioxidant means that you're um, pushing away free radicals, so like all the air pollution that will be detrimental to your, to your health, not just your skin. And as a person who has a lot of scarring from a lot of terrible cystic acne that I had two years ago, to make sure that, you know, that my skin is not uh, being 
steered away from healing itself, nourishing itself, and you know, not, not receiving any air pollution or any other free radicals. And I usually add two drops, or one, depending on my mood, of this dough dab. This is like a concentrate of um, some essential oils. Okay, so it has Cape Chamomile, Rose Otto, Cypress, Frankincense, Immortal, and Lavender. Those are all such powerful plants. I actually, I don't think it's just in my head because before using these, my skin wasn't healing itself this fast. And since I've been using uh, these Living Libations uh, items, I honestly really see a bigger difference in a shorter amount of time in the scars that I had. And also, I haven't been getting any new breakouts, knock on wood. So I highly recommend looking into Living Libations. This one along with 100% Pure and Pacifica are like my three favorite all natural brands. Okay, I also want to talk to you about two podcasts. If you don't already listen to podcasts, which I didn't either like a month ago, you're probably not really interested, but I'm going to change your mind, okay? You have got to listen to How I Built This and Savannah Eastern Spirituality. <laughs> so for How I Built This, it's basically um, interviewing big entrepreneurs, like for example, Cliff Bar, Instagram, Beyond Meat, uh, Lonely Planet, and Whole Foods. I thought it was incredibly, incredibly inspiring to listen to these podcasts because you realize that in order to get where they are at the moment, they had to sacrifice a whole lot. They had to get into debt. For example, I believe it's uh, the guy from Whole Foods. He had like a $30 million of debt. It took him nine years to pay off. Um, but look at where he is now. I mean, Whole Foods is one of the most successful uh, grocery stores in the world. I realized it takes years. It can take a decade to uh, attain your goal. But I mean, if you have that vision and if you have that dream and that willpower to just go for it some people will get into a huge debt to buy a house like uh, four hundred thousand dollars and it takes them years and years to pay off and that's good for them but I mean th these kind of people are usually the ones who are criticizing people like me who are investing a lot of time and money into a project an idea that I have so you know what you invest in your house and I want to be my own boss, you know, I want to be an entrepreneur. I mean, I worked for uh, music schools for nine years and honestly, it was an amazing job. I don't want to work for anyone else anymore. That's just not something I want to do. All right, the other podcast, which is Savannah Eastern Spirituality. So she does inf interviews for people uh, who are specialized in, for example, Qigong or other Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, mushrooms and herbal medicine, spiritual symbols, and the most interesting episodes are The Secrets of Medical Qigong, which also talks about adaptogenic herbs. I would also recommend uh, listening to Understand Chinese Medicine, Ayurvedic Daily Routine, uh, How Inflammation Affects Your Health, and Mindfulness and Sex. So that last one, it's about how you see it and how the world and society um, treats it as a subject, you know? Uh, how the way you've been brought up, how it will affect the way that you actually experience it. Listen to them, okay? So, 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 so interesting. I was listening to them while I was just cleaning, you know, folding some clothes, listening to this podcast. All right, that was it. Those are all my favorites. I hope you found something interesting that maybe you can also enjoy yourself. And I'm already looking forward to see you for my December favorites. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe and just become a part of this amazing holistic Maya family that is growing and growing more and more. I love you guys so much and leave me a comment below. Don't forget for the Q&A and tell me also a fact about yourself. I want to get to know you and hit that notification bell as well so you're part of the notification squad. And I will catch you next time. Bye.